In February of 2020, we unboxed the very first K9 Sportsac Air 2. As the new car smell filled the room, we got a good look at 10 years of customer feedback, research, testing, and engineering. This, we agreed, was what the K9 Sportsac was always meant to be. But how did we get here? Well, that's actually a pretty good story. While preparing for a bike ride in 2010, I placed a drawstring bag on the floor and turned around a few moments later to find Daisy lying face down on that bag doing her I want to go so bad dance. Next thing I knew, I was riding along with half a dog sticking out the top of the bag as the strings cut into my shoulders. It was the longest ride we had taken to that point. We returned home with bruises from the strings, but the idea of the canine sport sack had been born. I showed my wife Jen my purple shoulders and within minutes she had cut the straps from an old backpack, sat down at our ancient sewing machine and replaced the drawstrings with the more padded option. Ride number two and we learned that the balance was still a little too top heavy. Back at the sewing machine, Jen added a panel to the top with armholes and a collar to hold Daisy in place. We had had to put her in the drawstring bag feet first, which Daisy hated, so a zipper was added to the back for easy entry and off we went again. It worked, and it worked well. We knew that we were on to something. One year later, we were holding the very first professionally manufactured canine sport sack that we began sending out to our original wave of customers to whom we will be forever grateful for both their support and invaluable feedback. And feedback they gave. We had the positive foundation of a product that worked, now it just needed to evolve. The tops of the canvas sides were replaced with panels of elastic mesh to accommodate the wider shoulders of dogs like pugs and corgis. This material proved too stretchy for skinny dogs, so straps were added around the elastic to cinch the fabric up tight and keep skinny dogs upright. Rubber-coated small gauge mesh panels were added halfway down the sides for cooling airflow. A firm padded bottom now supported the dog's weight and two sizes were added for a total of three sizes. Within a few months, we were unboxing version two. Within a few minutes, we were testing it out. Within a few days, we were fielding feedback. We went back to work. The shoulder straps were replaced with the horseshoe design for increased strength and fitted with mesh for cooling breathability. An extra small size was added for the tiniest dogs. Within a few months, we were unboxing version three, and soon the feedback was flowing again. A zipper loop was added to the tab that when looped around the collar enclosure would prevent zipper slippage. Using the size of a Nalgene bottle for reference, a pocket was added to both sides. Large gauge mesh replaced the smaller air holes and was extended all the way to the bottom of the bag. A soft loop side strip was added for hook side service dog patches. Version 4 was an accidental triumph like we had never seen before. Our manufacturer decided to use a different type of zipper than the one our customers had come to trust on previous models, and when testing version 4 out, the zipper proved to be unreliable, which sent us into a panic as we feared for our customer's safety. Returning to the trusty sewing machine, Jen sewed two horizontal straps across the zipper to make it impossible for even the weakest zipper to pop open. When the pictures began to flood in, we were thrilled to notice that our canine customers were sitting straighter in the carrier than ever before, and their humans weren't having to lean so far forward. The zipper enclosures not only made it a safer carrier, but a more ergonomic one as well. It was the best accidental addition ever and inadvertently pushed the canine sport sack light years ahead in both safety and comfort. To add even more safety for the more anxious of our passengers, Jen added a small loop and carabiner on the collar enclosure that when clipped to the dog's collar made it impossible to wiggle out the top. Even so, the invaluable customer feedback continued to trickle in. Again, we went back to work. The mesh shoulder straps were replaced with a nearly indestructible cooling gel design. The rubber-coated mesh, which we had weight-tested up to 50 pounds, was replaced by a more flexible version that we tested at 90 pounds and still never broke. The side cinch straps that hugged the fabric around thinner dogs were turned diagonally to pull the fabric higher and tighter than ever before. The big brain blast, though, was a bugaboo from all previous versions that we had yet to solve. How do we keep the bottoms of the bags from sagging against a customer's back? 
in all previous versions, unless the chauffeur tightened the shoulder straps to the max, the bottom remained saggy, which lowered the passenger and created an unintended hammock effect, which, while not dangerous, was less comfortable than the design intended. After endless measuring and testing, we settled on an angled design based on the average weight for each particular size. Customers would never have to tighten their shoulder straps to the maximum, and the bottoms would never sag again. This is where we came in. The Air 2 is all the previous versions rolled into one. With its angled bottom, dual pockets, strong flexible mesh, lumbar support straps, patch strip, high efficiency locking zipper, zipper loop, carabiner collar clip, angled side cinch straps, adjustable collar enclosure, and cooling gel shoulder straps, it represents a decade of feedback testing and design made with all dogs and humans in mind. In short, this is what the K9 Sportsack was always meant to be.